producers. Benny X has been going crazy this year. Like, literally, he's on everyone's album. Drake album about to come out. Of course, we got the first single today, produced by Benny X and Grant LaPointe, bro. Which I don't know if y'all up on game, but Grant LaPointe, I'm familiar with him from the Kenny Beats beat battles. You know, bro was always top five. I think he won twice. You know what I mean? Great guy, bro. Glad to see this happen right here. And then, of course, like the usual 40 and all that. But we got Drake and SZA, bro. Slime you out. The cover is Halle Berry at the 2012 Kiss Choice Awards getting slimed. I'm very excited for this. I don't know what to expect, but you know what I'm saying? Here we go, bro. I don't know. This is not the cover that it... Okay, well. I don't know. What's wrong with you, girl? I guess he went with the album cover. I feel I don't like know I don't need love. You need somebody who could micromanage you. You know what I'm saying? Tell you right from wrong. Who's smart from who's a fool? Which utensil to use for which food? Like, mm. I got a schedule to attend to, though. I can't really. Mm. You bitches really get carried away. Make your mistakes, then Yo. stay. Got me weak, you know. Drake singing again? Wait, what? Is Drake really, like, getting back to that? Bitches really get carried away Make your mistakes, then you beg me to stay Got me weak, you know you like American taste Crazy thing, too, SZA just dropped last night also. I don't know if she putting out more music nowadays or what's going on, but I'm loving this. And so far, it feels like, I don't know why, maybe it's just his delivery, but it feels like she wrote this. I'm not familiar enough with her music to really know, you know, what her writing sounds like outside of her, but if I had to guess, I wouldn't be surprised if she did write this. I would not be surprised. Slot me for them kid choices you made. Oh, no. No, look. No glaze. No glaze. I don't care, bro. I don't. Drake is him, bro. He's him. He's him, bro. That's like, I'm finna use that as a caption. He don't miss. He don't miss. He don't miss. Like, how has no one used that bar yet? She fits into that flow, bro. That's what I said. Like, I feel like she wrote that. I don't know, bro. I don't. I would love to know how this track came about. Cause this is the first Drake and SZA collab for real, right? 
I know he said he used to date her back in 08, but I, don't, I feel like that was just a bar, bro. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I feel like that's rap cap. But either way, we don't have no music with them till now. I don't know, bro. I like this so far, though. Honestly, now I'm just mad she wasn't on CLB. I feel like she could have. Now, we did get Yeba and Thames. I feel like vocal wise, that's kind of all we needed. But she doesn't probably would have fit on CLB, bro. Low key. I feel like she would have. I just love what this is going to do for Grant's career, bro. Hopefully. I don't know what he did on this track. I don't know what Benny X did on this track, but this beat is crazy. Tennessee life clearly, daily. February is the time that you put the evil eye in the pride side for the fantasy of getting married. Very scary. March got you already second guessing titles. April, spring is in just like a spring you start to spiral. May bring some warmer days. Poolside getting very tan. June, hey, you moving ice cold, going back and forth with a merry man. Mm. Okay, bro. Okay, look, I the, the 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 slime one earlier in the song was cool. Some people might think it's corny, but that one was cool. But July and July, pack it up, pack it up, pack it up, pack it up. Drake, I bro, I was glazing not even five minutes ago, not even five minutes ago, and. Never mind. I was about to say something crazy, but let me not even say that, bro. I don't like that line. That line's weird. Going back and forth with a merry man. That that line feels like an old Drake caption. Like when people say they they miss the old Drake, the captions that he was writing at that time, you can tell he was putting all of his effort into writing actual music and not his captions. Because his captions was weak almost every time. But like, you know. July, that's when I found out July. Oh. 36 year old man, by the way. How old is Drake? I think he's 36, right? He up there. He getting up there. His birthday coming up next month. He getting up there. Look, bruh. This is a baby this, baby that. Like, yeah, your tools tied. September, we falling off. But I'm still the man you trying to win over. October is all about me. Because your time should have been over. Mm. November got your mood board in for next year. And you're single. December, the gift giving month. And now you want to rekindle. Mm. I love how subtle that sample is. Mm. All I really know is damn bags like I drove through and ordered fast food. Saying that I'm too guarded with my feelings, who the fuck even asked you? Seven bodyguards just in case somebody really wanna try and crash through. Mm. Don't know why I listen to you when I hear you talking to me and some half truths. If I don't pay rent, it end up like a whole hairstyle, girl, it's past through. If I don't... Okay. I'm kind of mad since it didn't come back in, but you know. Hey, bruh. Now look, here's where I really get critical. Here's where I really get critical. As much as I do like this song, this is the first single for the album, okay? This is the first single for the album. I don't know how I feel about this as the first single for the album, because now I'm confused about what we're doing. You know what I mean? I'm confused about what we're doing, bro. Is he about to drop, like, Take Care Part 2? Is that what this is about to be? And then if not, where is this song going to fit on the album? You know? I don't really know how that's going to work. Because um, that's the thing with Drake and his albums lately. And not lately. I, I'd say the last two were a little bit better about that. But CLB, Scorpion, Darkland, it felt like there was a lot of filler. Okay, and I hope that this doesn't end up being one of like the kind of filler songs on there. I mean, I doubt it since it was released as a single, but that's probably only because SZA's on it. So like Buzz, you know, 
this do it this is probably gonna help out with album sales because some SZA fans are probably gonna check it out you know maybe i don't know but mm, i don't know i'm excited for the album still like you know but i don't know so i i don't know bro i don't know it's always a gamble with drake albums nowadays i feel like like it's either gonna be hit after hit or like a few hits as usual and then just a bunch of filler that either grows on you over time or you just don't listen to it ever again